Welcome to this very quick screencast. We'll be reviewing object, Java object equality and we're just going to have a very simple class hierarchy where we have a person class and then a, student, a subclass student that extends person. So let's take a quick look at the uh, person class. It has a private string first name and a private string last name. So a person has a first name and a last name and it has a constructor that takes a first name and a last name, assigns it to our member variables, and then it has our equals method to determine if two person instances are equal to each other. So let's take a closer look at that. The first step is we check to see if the references are pointing to the same object. So if this is pointing to object, as in there have the exact same references, we return true. The next step is we check to see if object is null or obj is null. We know that this is not null because we had to call equals on it. So if object is null, then we know that this cannot be null, so we return false. The next step is we now check to see is the class type of this the same as the class of the object, which it should be person. So if get class returns person and it's not equal to the objects class, then we know that there are different uh, there are different uh, classes, and we return false. And now that we know that they're both the same class, we can cast the object obj into a person, and then compare their first names, and then their last names, and then we're then we're done. So we can say if their first name is null, if it's not null, we return false. If first name is not equal to the other first name, return false, and then we check the last name. If our last name is null, their last name must be null. Or we check, compare our last name to their last name, and we return false, true, if all of those things are true. Um, so that's the simple equals operator. We check to see, are we looking at the same thing? Is the other thing null? Then we can check their classes, and then we can go on and check their specific things. So now let's take a look at the student class. Student extends person, it adds a major and a GPA. The constructor, like we talked about in a previous screencast, we need to have all the information for a student, so we need to know the student's first name, their last name, their major and their GPA, so we can call super given the first name and the last name. We assign our majors, we assign our GPA, and now what are we going to do about the equals method? So let's take a look at an equals method is very similar to the person one. In fact, it's almost identical. We check to see are we pointing to the same object. Is the object the other one null? We return false. We check our classes, so they're both a student class. We then do our cast, and then we check our majors, and then we check our GPAs, and if everything is okay, we return true. But we didn't check the student's first and last names. And we can't directly access the student's first and last names because that came from the person class and those were private member variables. So we can't say, you know, this dot first name or this dot last name. We don't can't say other dot first name or other dot last name. So we need to call the parents equal method. And so in order to do that, we can get rid of or replace the check for null because we know that the parent checks for null with a not super equals obj so it's like we say hey parent are you the same so that that will call the equals on person check the first name and check the last name if that returns false we need to make it true so we can return false and so now we've checked the first name and the last name and now we can go and check to see if the classes are the same because we don't want to compare a student with a person because those aren't the same things. So that's why we check the classes after that and then we can do our cast and we continue on. So when we are comparing equality of subclasses, we got to remember to call the parents equals method so that they will compare all the um, things in the parent class that we don't have direct access to. You know, we can't touch the private member variables, so we need to call super equals. And that will let the parent class do the work on figuring out if the two things are the same at the parent level, and then we can continue on to check to see are they at our level. 
So we always work at our level and let the parent do their job at their level. Thank you very much.